Hello friends. Today we are going to start with EC2 creation. So EC2 is a service in AWS by which you can create virtual machines. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Compute. So let's see how we can create EC2 instances. So Currently, you can see there is no running instances. Go to the launch instances. In launch instances, I am going to put my first EC2 or my first instance. After that, we can select Linux. Amazon Linux, we can select. Then here we can select 64 bit. Then free tier eligible. So that's like it automatically select the one vCPU T2 micro. So for free tier. Then key pair name. Currently we don't have any key pair name and we need to create one so that we can connect from any other PC to our EC2. So I'm going to put here EC2. Here yeah, select RSA, then for Mac, Linux, Windows 10 and above, this should be .pem file. But for Windows 7 and Windows 8, select .ppk. Create key pair. So this is going to be downloaded in your local. So download that one. Then after that, go to go to network setting. In the network setting, allow SSH traffic from. So this is like a, a 22 port number 22 for SSH always there is a 22 port open then we are going to allow HTTP traffic from the internet so that we can log in from another system so like this just select and keep the um, 8 GB and GP2 GP2 stand for general purpose SSD so keep this and then go to advanced in the advanced, you will see um, all this info. You can keep it as it is. Don't change anything. Uh, just for now, just keep everything like this. And uh, then let's go till user data. So what is a user data? User data, if you want to run any script while you uh, launch your server, you can put it here so that very first time when uh, any when the VM would start or virtual machine or EC2 would start, it would install those uh, apps or whatever you needed. We can put in this user data configuration. So for now, we are keeping it blank. Click on launch instance. This is going to create instance. So successfully initiated EC2 instance. So after launching the instance, click on this view. Here we can find various detail about the EC2. Private IP, public IP. Then we have a VPC, default VPC, which being created. Then we have a subnet ID, AMI ID. Inside security, we can see security group. This is for the SSH. This is for the one which we added. Then in the networking, we have say again the subnet ID and all details. Storage. This is the one which we provided while we were creating the EC2. So 8 GB. This is a test. So we saw various details of instances. Also, we saw how we can launch uh, instance. Then 
this is it for today's lesson today one important tip is that when whenever you create any ec2 don't forget to delete it or terminate the instance otherwise you need to pay for that so just go here and select the instance and uh, click on stop or if you are not going to use that again just click on terminate instance so once you click on terminate instance this would say that your ebs or the volume which you added that is also going to be lost so if you don't have anything important then just terminate that one so that way your instance would be shutting down sooner so thank you much for watching this and we'll see in our other services how we can utilize this created ec2 so thank you much for watching bye bye